Look at me. I'm the demon now. You faggot ass bitch. Faggot ass demon. Um, that's how I treat them. I treat them. I call them like fags and shit. They're fucking fags. That's what I call them. Um, I just want to tell you guys, just remind you guys, do not be scared of these demons. Do not fear them. Ignore their illusions. If you don't want to look at their little tricks, just look away. Look away. Then you don't have to deal with that. You don't have to look at it. It's a waste of time. It's honestly a waste of time. These are pointless beings. They're pointless beings. Unless you do find, um, some uses for them. They're pointless beings. Um, I just want to share a story about how my uncle, he had, he had demons, but he was reading a book. He was reading a book, and he opened the, oh, he summoned them by reading them, reading a book. And they, they, they did this trick, and they did this trick on me, too, that they said they will attack your family members. That they will go over there and attack them. And they will try to hurt them. But they're not. They don't. They don't hurt them. They can't hurt them. They won't do it. They said they're going to go talk to them. They're going to go say something to them. But they don't. They can't. Actually, they did talk to my brother. One time we were in Barcelona and we were in the church. And they said something to my brother saying that, um, that I'm going to be in trouble. So I guess they can talk to your family members. But that's all they said. To, they said they were portraying as God. They said that I'm going to be in trouble to my brother. And my brother said to me that God spoke to him and said that, um, that I'm going to be in trouble. And that's the only thing they said to them. So they haven't really physically like bothered them or started stalking them. So I think they're, they're not going to do that. But with my uncle, they said that they're going to hurt my, my other uncle, his nephew. And he would go at night, drive over there to their house. And um, see if he's okay. But they were lying. They weren't doing anything. They were just doing that just to get an arouse out of him. Just to move him or just to bother him. Yeah, they're faggot ass demon. They go back to their fucking fag land. Faggot ass family too. And um, that's what they do. They do, they do these little tricks. This, they try to pit you with your parent, with your families. And try to make you... Get up and get aroused. You just gotta ignore them, ignore their little tricks, ignore their magic. If you don't want to look at their magic, just look away, look away. Look away and it'll go away. Just look away, just ignore it. Yeah, these faggot ass demons go back to their fag land, fag hell. Fuck faggot demons. Um, what's up? What I left off on, what I left off in my last video is that I was, I was talking to them. I thought they were my neighbors. I thought I was telepathic. I didn't think I was telepathic, but I just thought, like, I was, I was talking to my neighbors. And it led up to being telepathic, but that's another message. Angels cannot talk to you telepathically. They can, they can send messages to your dreams. This is another fact, too. Um, demons will demons will manipulate your dreams. They will affect your dreams. They will, they will attack your dreams. They will give you dreams because angels are trying to give you dreams of messages, answers. And I got a warning when I was a little kid. I got a warning when I was a little kid. I was a little kid. This person was prank calling me. And I was trying to figure out who it was. And then one night I fell asleep. I went to sleep. And um, and in the corner of my room there was a demon. There was a person standing in the corner of the room like Spider-Man. In the corner of the room with a demon all black. Kind of fuzzy hair like dog hair. Fuzzy like husky hair. Husky dog hair in the back of his hair on his head. And he was just staring at me. He didn't have red eyes but he was just staring at me. And he like kind of yelled, and then that was that was into the dream, and then I found out it was my friend, my friend Alina. It was her. Um, she was prank calling me, and um, so I got a message when I was a little kid that I might be dealing with demons. And now I found out that angels are still trying to give me messages, trying to get rid of these demons, but the demons are giving me dreams, and. They're blocking the they're blocking the messages, and you can tell you're they're, they're different dreams. They're not your dreams. They're fucking retarded. They're, they're talking about your past. They talk about unnecessary things that you don't care about. And some it's about sex. You're having sex with someone, and you're just it's like, what the hell? Like, why would I dream that? These are unnecessary dreams. These are pointless dreams. Um, they're pointless dreams. They're honestly pointless dreams. And you can tell you you you'll, you'll figure it out that like, these are not your dreams. These are someone manipulating your dreams. Especially when you're speaking with the demons and you're talking to them, you'll realize that your dreams lately are not what you not what you not what you want. These aren't the dreams you want. Um, yes, I was so I was so I was talking to my neighbors. I was yelling at them. I was throwing bottles, Modelo bottles. I was throwing them at the wind at their at their houses. 
And I was just upset. I was just very upset. I was just upset throwing bottles and graffiti on their house, their garages, because I was upset. I thought they were talking shit about, their, well, they were talking shit about me. And um, I was just upset, so I started graffiti. And at this point, um, I think, yes, I moved out. I moved out. I moved out with my brother, and I think this is 2018. Early 2018, my brother came back from his, from Colorado, and he's going to he's going to school in Irvine, and um, he wanted to move to Irvine, and then my parents suggested that I move in with him. So we moved out together, and I was still hearing the voices. I moved into a new neighborhood, and these become new neighbors, new neighbors that I'm hearing. One of them's a little gang member or gang or drug dealer. One of them became a drug dealer that sells drugs. And does math. Another one was a single parent with two kids, and another one was just an older man living above us because there's a person above us, and I never met, I never saw him. I should have. And then there's a couple, a white couple that just lived down the street, down the, down the street, or not down the street, but down the walkways. And um, I saw them once. I saw these people once, and it just became the demons decided to attach themselves to these people that I saw once, and just become. Just become um who they what they wanted to become this image, so I was talking I was talking to these random these, all these other people I was talking to them. I was talking to them and I was just cursing at them, throwing bottles again, throwing bottles, and yeah that's basic that's basically what I was doing. I was graffiti onto onto their houses like, onto their apartments, too. I was cursing at them. Um, there's this one incident I can share right now. This one incident, I'm, I'll share a couple of incidents real quick. This is one incident I was masturbating, and I thought they said that they saw me through the window, but they didn't see me through the window, and they're portraying as the neighbors saying, we saw you through the windows, and that we're going to arrest you for a public indecency. And I was afraid, and I went back home. I went back home, and I was hiding, and I, thought, and I was going to run away. They said, we're going to call the cops. We're going to call the cops on you, and we're going to... So arrest you for that and I was afraid and I was gonna become homeless and then I came back I was walking out the house then I came back to the house because I wanted to shave my head so I don't look the same and then my parents stopped me and they said they stopped me and then I was like and that was the end of it I just stopped and then I just stopped and then that was it I didn't that didn't attempt to run away because because of, of the public indecency that was that one incident and there's another incident um I was coming home from work. They were very upset because of that incident. And that incident kind of pr propelled them to harass me more um, of the public indecency because I thought I thought someone saw me, but no one saw me. Um, they were, I was coming home from work. They were threatening me. The the, the the drug dealer guy was threatening me. The drug dealer character that they made up. He was threatening me to. Threatening me to, he's gonna come and jump me with him and his friends. And um, he told me to buy beer. I bought beer, buy beer and put it, place it in front of a house. I did that. Bought beer and placed it in front of a house. And he said to to get out of here. Don't live in this neighbor, this apartment area anymore. Apartment area anymore. To move out. And I was like, I can't do that. I live here, you know. So I went back to my apartment one day, and they're still talking to me, telling me, don't do this. Actually, after I bought the beer, he said, "Don't buy the beer. Do this. Drop it there and go and go home." And then I went home. And then at my apartment home, um, he said, "I'm coming after you." I see figures in my back, my pop, my porch. I see heads moving, and the doorknob started shaking like in the movies. But it's the demons that was doing it. The doorknob started shaking, and I saw a lanyard out the window to a lanyard. There's like a window right next to the door, but it's not see through. It's like kind of like I'm blurry. And I saw a lander go up and heard keys, and then I saw the, the, the doorknob shaking. And I was like, oh, like, like, oh, shit, this is real, but the people are really coming after me. And I was scared, so I called the cops. I called the cops. And I was telling them, there's people outside look, waiting after me. Oh, and I looked at the peephole. I looked at the peephole, and I saw shadows on the floor. Because I'm on the bottom floor, and there's the top floor. There's a, there's a balcony, not a balcony, but a second floor. And you can look over and look down. And, um, 
I saw three shadows. I saw the the, the, three, the two white neighbors and then the the main neighbor, the neighbor that lives upstairs. That they're trying to be like a fat old man, portraying as them, and they were just standing there looking. And that's what I saw on the floor. So I thought this was real. I thought they were trying to jump me and trying to kick me out of the neighborhood. And um. And that's what, the, that's what the demons were trying to do. They were trying to get me out of the neighborhood because they were fucking trying to mess with me. They were being faggots and they were trying to fuck with me. And they were fucking with me and I fucking didn't like it. And that's why I treat them like fucking fags now. They're fucking, and they're fucking pissed right now. They fucking don't like it. They keep on telling me to stop. They keep on saying, stop saying that. Please stop calling me a fag. And I'm still going to call them a fucking fag because I know there's, there's um, angels trying to send me messages. And what the fuck am I talking to? A faggot ass demon. I'd rather talk to an angel. And a faggot ass demon, a pussy ass fag demon is gonna fucking suck dick all night. And all fucking day. All fucking night, all fucking day. Fucking faggots. And um so I call the cops and the cops come and they search my house. They say they don't find nobody, they don't hear they don't see, they don't have nobody there. The door the door was shaking too, so I was afraid. I was afraid that someone's gonna try to break in. Oh, and they, the the drug dealer was supposed to be like the, the owner's nephew. So he has he had he had like a the keys of all the houses or whatever, which I shouldn't believe because that's not true. I don't think they do that. I don't think they have the keys to every apartment. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Maybe they do. But he's supposed to be like the the owner's nephew or whatever. So he has the keys of all the apartments, and that's what he had. He was so he was using to get inside my house. And um, the police come, they check the house, and then they find illegal fireworks in my house because I bought illegal fireworks. And they arrest me for the legal fireworks. So that's how they that's how they fucking fooled me that one time because they fucking they got my illegal fireworks from me and they arrested me and they charged me for that. But I didn't get a felon because that's a penalty. A felon. That's a penalty if you get a uh, illegal fireworks charges on you. I got it dismissed or I got it denounced or whatever. I didn't get it. It's just a crime. I'm, the misdemeanor. It was just a misdemeanor. It's a misdemeanor on my record. And, um, that's all I'm gonna share today. Don't listen to these faggot ass demons. Don't listen to voices. Demons talk telepathically. That's the main thing. Demons talk telepathically. So if you start hearing voices, it might be demons. It might be demons. And this, and this is gonna lead into my mental, mental, mental health because of that, because I said, because I come, because I told my parents that. I hear voices, so I hear voices and um, they think I have a mental health issue, which I don't, it's demons, so, so, um, demons talk telepathically, angels will send you messages, do not fall for the tricks, because you can get very scary and very, you can get, you can get a criminal record like me, because of, because of, um, Getting caught with illegal fireworks because I thought they were I thought they were, they were out there when there was just demons out there running around in circles, messing with me, shaking the doorknob, trying to trying to scare me. So don't be afraid. Look away if you don't want to look at it. I suggest you don't look at it because it's a waste of time. Unless you want to, just stare at it, look at it. I would I don't want to look at it. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with that fact shit. It's fucking pointless. Pointless ass beans. Alright, so next video I'll just explain what happens, what happens, I'll just continue my story.